I'd like to make a video here to rebuke Russia. A scriptural rebuke from a Bible-believing preacher. You say, is this about the war? No, actually it's not. Um, Russia has every right to defend its borders. And when NATO is building up forces in Ukraine, right on the border of Russia, not far from Moscow, um, they have a right to defend themselves there. Uh, well, they're doing things that are unethical and hurting people and whatever. Well, that's war. Um, war is a horrible thing. War is God's judgment on sin here, and hell is God's judgment on sin hereafter. Bob Jones Sr. made that statement many years ago, and I believe he was correct in that. But uh, the war thing, uh, Russia's actually doing this smart maneuver in that they are um, not attacking America directly. They're just letting America attack itself, destroy itself by uh, costly expenditures of sending all the military hardware over there and everything and uh, spending, I don't even know what it is now, probably hundreds of billions of dollars worth of weapons and things that America has sent over to Ukraine. Um, just let America keep doing that, spend themselves into oblivion and, and then uh, when America when the financial system crashes here in America, then Russia just says, oh, okay, there you go, you know. <laughs> then you can decide what to do about America. That's not the rebuke. The rebuke that I have for Russia is what I've seen recently with this uh, anti-sodomy stuff, where they're coming out and they're saying, um, we're going to make it illegal to have, you know, gender reassignment surgeries or whatever they call this satanic abomination. And, uh, that's not the rebuke, by the way, that they're, they shouldn't be doing that or something. That's just called common sense. Having your people accept who they are, how God made them to be, and, you know, say I am fearfully and wonderfully made, as the Bible says. Uh, the rebuke is that Russia is doing the right thing with its moves against sodomy. Sodomy destroys nations. People sterilize themselves. How can you build strong nations and strong people if the people are sterilizing themselves? You can't. Um, the rebuke, though, if I can get to it here, <laughs> uh, the rebuke is that Russia is being hypocritical. Oh, we're going to ban sodomy. We're going to ban, uh, you know, this gender perversion uh, surgery stuff. We're going to ban that. But yet we're going to let the media, the American media, into our country the thing that has destroyed the minds and the morality of the people here in the West. Here in America, um, I mean, where do you think the sodomite movement came from? People just all of a sudden said, hey, they woke up one day and said, hey, I, I think I'm actually going to sterilize myself and pretend that I'm attracted to someone of the same sex as me. No, it came from Hollywood. It came from the, the movie industry. And uh, so Russia, oh, we're, we're banning you know, sodomy and reassignment surgeries and things like that, but come on in with your movies. It doesn't make any sense. It'd be like saying, I'm going to ban, we, we now, it's, it's illegal to own American bombs, but we're going to let the instructions how to build bombs come in from America. That's foolish. Uh, Russia, Russian officials, you need to ban American media coming into your country if you want the morals of your people to get better and to be a strong nation. The Bible says that uh, righteousness, righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Um, you don't have to have a whole nation of Christian people. You don't have to have everybody get saved in your nation. Um, <clears throat> what you need is you need to have righteousness in that nation, and that will exalt your nation. That will make your nation great. Um, America had some good things about it because America was once a very righteous nation. We had standards. Back you go, you know, <clears throat> a little over 100 years ago, 120 years ago, we'll say, to 1903, women in America wore dresses and they wouldn't even let their ankles be seen in public. My, that has changed. And uh, what has happened as a result is this nation is falling apart. This nation... Uh, I mean, there are people that barely even qualify to be people walking the streets of this country. Uh, it's going to end very badly for America. And if you're seeing that over there in Russia and any other country within the BRICS nations, if you're seeing that, um, why would you allow the 
very thing that destroyed the American people to come into your country. Uh, well, I know why, and I will say why, uh, because I'm not afraid to talk and speak the truth. I'm a preacher. I fear God. I don't fear man. Um, oh, the FBI could come after me or whatever else. Whatever. You can't touch me unless God gives you permission. That's why I speak without fear. Um, fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso trusteth in the Lord, he shall be safe. The Bible talks about that. Um, what's going on? Why is Russia allowing Western media in? Well, it's called EHM. Economic Hitmen. You know, you have a hitman, you think of an assassin, and he's been hired to go and kill somebody, you know, and, and so he comes in with his silenced, you know, pistol or his knife and cuts the guy's throat or something, he's a hitman. Well, an economic hitman is hired to destroy a country, to bring a nation into bondage. And these economic hitmen come in and they say, hey, you know, we'd like to help out your nation here, but uh, what we need to do is we need to get... Um, we, you, we need to get you these different programs so that your nation can prosper and your nation nation can get better and stronger. And, they, and the country says, well, we don't have the money for that. That sounds pretty expensive. Oh, yes, it's very expensive. But don't worry. We'll lend you the money. And uh, we'll allow our big multinational corporations to come into your country to help out your people. And we'll bring in our uh, soda, our poison pop. Uh, with its high fructose corn syrup and all the other horrible things that's, that's in that stuff and will destroy your people's health uh, take away their native culture uh, that actually oftentimes includes bone broth and things like that that are very nourishing and uh, take away the traditional foods take away the traditional dress take away their culture i mean i see videos of russia in the stores and they have you know, pop music playing or something, this like techno dance music playing or something, and I'm thinking, why? Why would you do that? Uh, there's a guy on um, YouTube here, he's a, a Russian, uh, and he's, Constantine is his name, and he puts out some pretty good uh, videos. His channel is Real Reporter, and he did a whole series of videos showing in Russian stores American-made products with Russian names. I mean, it looks the same. You take a bottle of Coca-Cola, and and it's the same red with the you know black thing or whatever the stripe that goes like that, and it's and it's but it's a Russian name, but it's produced by Coca-Cola. So we have sanctions from the West, and yet the what products from the West are still there. Why? Well, because of economic hitmen. There's a great book on that. Um, that we have in our collection. My wife read it, and and uh, she's you know educated me quite a bit on that whole situation of the economic hitmen how that they come in and they get nations to be in debt and russia by the way has almost no national debt when compared to america with its heading towards 33 trillion dollars raise the debt ceiling uh, and like i said we've already spent over half of it that's insanity that is purposeful it's not some kind of a coincidental thing and well we're not really we're not sure what happened to the money i don't really know uh, America's being destroyed by design. So, um, Russia, if, you, if you're a low-down Russian soldier or official or whatever, put, give this to the higher-ups. A Bible-believing preacher, um, a man of God, and I'm telling you what you need to do to help your nation. And as you're going, uh, you know, preparing for war ultimately in the future, I know you're being told what to do by the Vatican, I get that. But uh, as a nation, you need to ban Western media. Um, again, watching the videos of, uh, you know, um, this guy in Russia, and he went to a shopping mall over there, a very big, expensive-looking shopping mall, which are still, they still work in Russia, but here in America, the shopping malls are dying uh, because people don't have any money, number one, and number two, uh, people buy everything online, so nobody wants to go out to the shopping mall and actually deal with other people. You know, the way I grew up, you know, going to the shopping mall was a great thing. You'd see all your friends and whatever else out there and uh, hang out at the shopping mall, you know. Those days are gone. But uh, in Russia, they have, this guy showed a shopping mall and they had a movie theater and there's American movies playing. Wake up, Russia. Come on. Um, I'm warning you. Uh, I was victimized by American media. 
I grew up and you know television's on and and uh, destroyed by the media and uh, got into a lot of perversion and things had perversion problems as a young man uh, never was I was never a sodomite thankfully praise the Lord on that I still had too much red blood in me for that to happen but um, you know had a lot of problems over the years because of American media and it took me a long time to get out of it and get out of that brainwashing to where I hate television now and I wouldn't watch it if my life depended on it. Um, so speaking as a former victim of American media and these wicked devils out in Hollywood that hate this nation and want to tear this nation down, um, don't let that come to your country, Russia. It's too late for America. America's gone. Uh, these people out there, they're I mean, they should be waking up to the reality of this nation falling apart economically, and they're not. Why? Because television still says it's okay. Everything's fine. We're heading towards better times. You know, I heard a guy say the one time, the American people are not panicking yet because the, the television hasn't told them to do it. <laughs> Very well said. Um, and when the television finally says panic, it's going to be too late. It's too late for the American people. It's too late for this nation. America is headed for God's judgment. Thankfully, there are still some righteous people in this nation. There are still some people that aren't even saved, and yet they have good moral character and things. I mean, I, I know a lot of people that are lost, don't profess to be Christians at all, and they have better moral character than professing Christians I've known in this nation. Absolutely disgusting. So, uh, you can take it or leave it. You can do what you want, but um, you might win the war against America, and if it comes to actual fighting, you will. Um, America cannot uh, sustain a long, drawn-out war. We don't have the money for it. Just as simple as that. Um, going to a theater of operations like Ukraine and uh, you know, carrying out some big war and drafting the young people, which is already being implemented as I speak, um, that whole thing right there is going to destroy this nation. I mean, it's just the... The shot in the head you know uh, that's going to destroy america we don't have the money um nor we also do not have the morale We're going to send a woke military over there yeah right like that's going to do anything um so you might win a, a kinetic war against america but uh, non-kinetically you're being attacked you are being destroyed and you don't even realize it Maybe you do, but uh, you're being told probably by the up, higher ups that uh, we want to destroy the morals of your people as well. Well, you better uh, go against your orders and um, make sure that you stop the American media from coming in and destroying your people. Um, I think it's a disgusting thing what America has done, and America is going to pay. The old saying goes, it's time to pay the piper. And as the Bible says it, uh, if you sow to the flesh, you will to the flesh reap corruption. Well, America has sowed to the flesh. America has turned its back on God. And now God is turning his back on America. Better think about that, Russia.